Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at Windows Lite and everything you need to know about Windows Lite. If you don't know what Windows Lite is, it's basically a lightweight version of Windows. You can use NT Lite to create a Windows Lite version. There is a free version, but it's pretty limited, and you will probably need to go for the home version, which is around about 40 euros. You can use this to strip out a lot of the features and components that you don't want inside your version of Windows Lite. Now, it's always best to create your own. That way, when you're building your own Windows Lite version, we're going to be building Windows 10 here, you can remove the components you want. So if you do want to have features left in, for instance, say Windows Store or say Edge or something along those lines, you can do. If you want them to removed, you can remove them also. Now, what this does for lower end systems is free up system resources, i.e. CPU and also memory usage. Memory usage in particular is very useful, especially if you've got a old system or maybe you've bought one of those cheap systems online that are around about 200 pounds for a laptop that only has four gigabytes of RAM in it. This will be able to run that a lot better and you can reinstall Windows with this Windows Lite version. Now, of course, if you don't have the knowledge to be able to do all of this sort of stuff, there is plenty of people out there on NT Lite's forums that have actually shared their presets file. So you can actually just load that up and it would already have a lot of the settings done for you. And it's that simple. And all you need to do then is go to the apply section and apply this and create your ISO. So if you are looking for a Windows Lite version, whether it be Windows 10 or Windows 11, you can use something like this to create it. Now, I've made videos showing you how to do this. If you want to see a full video on NT Lite, let me know in the comments section below, and I'll try and do my best to make that video for you. So Windows Lite is basically what it says on the tin. It's a lighter version of Windows. You're going to be removing key components of the operating system. So when you go to install it, these components will be removed. So for whatever reason, everyone has their own requirements for what they want. So for instance, if you want to remove Windows Defender, you can do. You can completely strip it out of Windows and it won't be there. Again, with that said, once you do that, you're going to have no protection. Some people just want it for gaming and they just rip out all of the bits they don't want, like all the unnecessary applications. They set up all of the privacy settings to uh, disable. And it's all done through, uh, you know, NT Lite. It's very simple and easy to do. So if you're not going to be sharing any sort of files on the network or anything like that, like Plex and things like that, you can turn all these settings off and save a lot of space. This will obviously reduce the size of the ISO file once it's been completed. And when you install, you're going to have a lot of features missing. And if you've removed these from your build, they will not be inside Windows. So when you go to, say, open up the Microsoft Store, if you've removed that from the build, it won't be there and you won't be able to do certain things inside the Microsoft Store. Same said for Windows Defender and a bunch of other features that people like to rip out of the build, which makes it super lightweight. Now, Microsoft have made some uh, Windows Lite versions like LTSC versions. You can use those as well and activate them and use them on your computer. But if you want to create your own super lightweight one, then you can do. Now, bear in mind, there is some really small ones out there floating around on the internet, and these are super small and tiny, and they take up very little resources on the system. So if you've got a really old computer, these sort of builds are really ideal. The only problem I have with it is you'd have to know uh, who's done it and what they've taken out. And also, if they're taking things out, they can also add stuff in. So be very, very careful if you are downloading stuff randomly off the internet and basically uh, using it on your main system. You can see here inside the settings here, you can just go through and disable a bunch of stuff like telemetry, and this will be completely disabled. It won't be enabled inside the actual build once you install Windows. All of this will be gone. Now, some people even go as far as disabling Windows updates and completely removing them from the actual build itself so it won't update. So if you do want to create your own, once you've finished, you can go through the building process. And once it's built your ISO, you can go to Rufus, download it, and then basically create your bootable USB flash drive with your Windows Lite version. Now, I've got multiple different versions for different things. 
I've got super lightweight ones which have been completely ripped out a load of bits. And I've also got some more moderate uh, level ones which are for PCs that uh, are just needing a sort of lighter version of Windows without having to go through all of these settings every single time you install Windows. So once we've got this all completed, we can boot to our USB flash drive and start to install our new Windows Lite version. So let's go ahead and boot to this and get it installed on the system. So I'm just going to choose the UEFI version here and uh, boot to this and get this installed. Now the good thing about this version is the one I've just created here is not super lightweight, but it's lightweight enough to run on cheaper laptops and cheaper uh, hardware or older hardware. Now I've seen some floating around on the internet which are super small and there's nothing there at all. They've ripped out Windows Defender, uh, the Microsoft Store and all of the browsers are all gone. Everything's been ripped out and uh, you know, and you get a few error codes and a few error messages here and there. You don't really want to be doing that. That's not what Windows uh, Lite version is about for me. I've left the Microsoft Store in here and Windows Defender. And, uh, you know, it's easy enough just to disable it. But it's, you start taking out too much stuff and you end up with a lot of problems. Now, the other big problem that you could run into with Windows Lite versions is the Windows updates. Windows updates have feature updates which are upgrades to the next version of Windows. And if you roll that out on a light version, you're going to end up losing all of your uh, light version and it's going to blow it back up to a full blown version of Windows. And this can also cause issues with the upgrade process or the updating process because you are using a light version which has basically components ripped out of it. So it could be more hassle than it's worth for some people. So that's Windows 10 now installed. Like I've said before, this is not a super lightweight one. This is just uh, one that I've created just for another machine uh, for someone. And basically, they didn't want everything taken out. So basically, you can see here, we still have Edge on here. We still have the uh, Microsoft Store working on here. There is quite a few processes on this one, but that's because I've just been installing a bunch of applications as well. And that's the thing. People like to show... A small amount of processes I've shown them with less than you know 60 processes running and uh, where I've built them and again this one has 150 well the big difference on this one is the memory usage it's pretty low it's 2.7 gigabytes and uh, that's pretty decent so if you're using one of those systems that have four gigabytes of soldered memory to the board and you can't upgrade it and it's using all of that memory with Windows 10 on it you can use a Windows Lite version and get it to half of that usage which will make the system much more usable. Now, again, depending on how far you want to take this, you can strip it right out and get super, super low. But this one here is a moderate sort of uh, Windows Lite version. I don't want everything ripped out and neither did the person who wants it. So are Windows Lite versions worth creating yourself? Yeah, of course they are. If you want a lighter version of Windows and you don't want all the bloat. But some people are just happy using Windows the way it is, and that's okay too. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. This one is just a quick overview of what Windows Lite is and everything you need to know about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. I just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.